This is Nigeria, the corporate jungle, where everyone is either a hustler or a make-believe CEO. To succeed, you have to work hard and seize your opportunities. And if you do, you could be one of Africa's next billionaires. Our crude makes us one of the most oil-rich countries in the world and Africa's largest economy. However, the country still lacks basic infrastructure, a factor that can make doing business difficult. The entrepreneurial spirit in Nigeria is ranked as one of the fastest growing globally. Sterling Bank recognizes this and is giving budding entrepreneurs an opportunity to pitch their ideas, convince the judges, and get that critical capital investment to kickstart their business. The problem with that is how can I invest in your idea if I can't see how I'm going to get my money back? These applicants will come face to face with our business experts and celebrity judges who have been handpicked to help develop and decide the fates of these anxious entrepreneurs. From over 8,000 applicants, we are down to 200 business ideas. But only three with compelling innovations will be selected to grow their dream business and harness their full potential. The question now is, who will succeed, who will fail, and what business will get that 10 million Naira? 12 rounds, ding, ding. Sick and tired of the whole damn thing, yeah. Stick a move in the ring. You can hit me with the words you fling now. You're never gonna keep me down, you're never gonna keep me down, no, no, no. You're never gonna keep me down, you're never gonna keep me down, no, no, no. Be lucky if I stick around, maybe foolish, but I ain't a clown, no, no, no. You're never gonna keep me down, you're never gonna keep me down, no, 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 no. Bitch Nigeria, brought to you by Sterling. Welcome back to The Pitch Nigeria. Opening our pitch session is Charlotte Pita, the founder of Cheap Medi Technologies. Yeah. Congrats, you made it this far. Thank you. Three minutes, that's what you got. Let's go. So my name is Charlotte Peters. I'm the founder of Cheap Medi Technologies. Do you know diabetes may never kill again? Really? Let me tell you about the conventional way of testing for blood sugar level. The diabetic will have to wash his hand very neatly and then get a, a, meat, a strip, insert it into a, pricker, a, 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 a meter, then get a lancet or a needle, prick the side of his finger and put a blood sample on the strip. Then wait for the result for about a minute and write the result on a piece of paper. This process can be so painful and cumbersome for them. And they are, do this at least three times in a day. So you could imagine the pain they are going through and the kind of the number of um, results they are losing. So I identified this problem and I came up with an innovation. This is my innovation, Glucoma. Glucoma is a device designed like a wristwatch, which you wear, you wear around the wrist. It automatically, painlessly, discreetly, conveniently tests for your blood sugar level without you performing any single task. It is synchronized with an app. On the app, you get recommendations, you get your result history, and you can add up your doctors or your two family members to help you effectively manage your blood glucose level. The founder of my product require me to get a fund of 12 million naira, and I'll be able to seek out 3.6 million naira funding as a grant, and I'm here to seek 8.4 million naira to develop, mass produce, and market my product. Okay, let me amuse you. Do you know? In 2015, about 80,000 people died of diabetes. Did you say you wanted to amuse us? Shola's sense of humor throws off the judges. With a moment. No, no, no. Okay. But the amusing have, is have coming. The amusing yes. is coming. But the good news is, with glaucoma, diabetes we may never die again. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. That was good news. After preaching the good news, let's see how she fares with her pitch. Do you have a sample? Oh no, this is all we have with other structural design. Oh, you, do, you have not done any, you don't have a... Yeah. So how are you sure, sure. it's going to do what you say it's going to do? Because there is a science behind it, and we're 100% sure that it's going to work. All theory, but no practical. The judges are skeptical about the functionality of her product. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. All right. Before I got in, I was so tense, but I think while, while I was at their front, the judges' front, 
all the tension went away and then I was able to talk about my business you know with that very big smile on my face she's smiling but what expression do the judges have after she's left the room let's cut to them to find out I think this would be, this this, be revolutionary this is, this is, I mean and she's just I think barely out of school Guess what? When it's the now blues, now everywhere, can I say that? Ah, I remember when. When this is the I'm saying, ah, <laughs> so I go in and boost. They appear proud of Shola's pitch. Let's hope it's enough to see her to the next level. You're never gonna keep me down. You're never gonna keep me down. No, 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 no. Pitch Nigeria, brought to you by Sterling. Up next is Louis Ogechuku, CEO of D Signature Casuals, seeking for capital to expand his business. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. How are you doing? You have three minutes to make your pitch, starting now. Good afternoon, panelists. Imagine losing a business deal because your dressing does not appeal your client or customer or being shot out of investment meeting because the way you dress does not qualify you to be there. Critical to his business pitch is the philosophy. How you dress is how you are dressed. Is he dressed to impress? People are being addressed the way they dress. My name is Oge Chuku Zekwe. I'm the CEO of the Signature Casual. The Signature Casual is a fashion house established established to provide top quality products, clothes products for men and women. In 2018, we had annual turnover of 3.4 million and a profit margin of 1.2 million. We make corporate shirts like this and uh, African brands, what I wear, and business casual. We are very detailed in finishing because finishing is the product itself. Cloth, it doesn't matter the material, what matters is the finishing. The finishing gives the confidence the customer wants from the product. If a product has poor finishing, then it will be attracted poor market. So we pay detail attention to finishing. Finishing that will be inspired by sound and sight. Our designs are very wonderful. We use some color combination like we have in this clothes put the button, the buttonhole, and the stitching, may, may different color to, combination. I want to see this your finishing. While he continues his pitch, he shares some of his products for the judges to sample. Our business is located in Abuja, so their total addressable market is 3 million. But we are targeting 300 million. But we are targeting 1%, which we hope to cover in the next 10 years. Our revenue model, average unit product, Time has run out for Lewis, but the judges still want to know one thing. Why does he need the 10 million Naira? We need the sum of 5 million Naira only to push us to the next level. 50% of the money will be used to purchase finishing equipment. Then 30% will be used to set up a retail shop where we can sample this ready to wear products. You said it doesn't matter the material the finishing the matters. You're wrong. Has his comment dug a hole for his pitch? Because that is China. China gives you good finishing, replica products, and bad material. You know, so, so when we talk about material, there are materials we, we target high income and middle income. I know. I'm analyzing. I'm analyzing your statement. Material matters as much as finishing matters. Material matters. Exactly. All right, man. Thank you so much. We would definitely consider your brand in this competition. Thank but you. keep doing what you're doing, man. Yes, man. Yeah. yeah, actually it was awesome. I did my best. The, the timing was very short. But as an entrepreneur, I think I understand my industry and my business. So at any time, I can make a pitch for my business. You're never gonna keep me down. You're never gonna keep me down. No, 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 no. Pitch Nigeria. Brought to you by Sterling. All right, so you have three minutes to present your idea. Meet Mary Ewemie Anossi, a fashion designer, using tech to evolve how her female fashion line competes in the marketplace. 
Okay, so I'll start with my story. Several times I walk into organizations and I hear people say, oh, I love your outfit. Where did you get it from? I told them I make it. And it's like, okay, fine. Okay, can we have it? Can we have, can, we, can you make one for me? And I'm like, okay, fine, come over to my office. And they're like, where's your office? I'm based in Ibadan. And most times this has to be do in Lagos or Abuja or outside my geographical location. So sometimes they say, okay, can you just take my measurements? I take the measurements, make the outfit and send it down to them. Then they put it on their friends, get to see it and love it. But the issue now is that I'm back in Ibadan. How do I travel to Abuja to take the measurements and get it closer across to them? So I've been, I've been thinking of how ways and how I can actually bridge this gap because we know every single court client is important. So several times, like throughout last year, I had to, I lost over 60 clients because I couldn't travel down to where they were. So I thought of what can I do? And I came up with a solution and that's an app and help that will actually help me in taking this measurement. I don't have, physically have to be there in order to take the measurement. The app will act, for them to just download the app, they will be able to take their measurements, pick the style, because each, each measurement, each, sorry, each style actually have its own, it has a video of how to take the measurement. So they take the measurement and upload it and I get it where I am. So I make the outfit and send it over to them. Mary needs to take a deep breath to regain her composure if she wants to see through her pitch. With the introduction of an app, that's an increase in demand. I have more clients and definitely I need to expand. We have grown over the year from one client to three clients, from one, sorry, from one staff to about three um, staff, from about 10 clients to over 100, um, over 100 clients. So now with the introduction of a new app, we get to expand more and definitely in the, with, the, with the introduction of a new app, we get to expand, we get to get more um, equipment, get more manpower definitely we'll be able to meet more demands. Okay, so how do we get our income and how do we penetrate? We make clothing, we have a fashion school where we train people. And definitely with the introduction of the, with the introduction of a new app, we get our clients, first of all, our existing customer to download the app. Definitely they, tell to t they get to tell their friends to also download the app. We also give referral bonus for everyone who, for every successful download and every successful client we get. Our target method are females in, nine, in the major urban areas. And we've, um, we have an estimate of over 16.7 million females that actually fall into this category. And we're dealing with the females between the age of 61 and 60 years. Do you have the app? So I think it I'd like to see the app. Do you have the app? No, it's yet to. It's yet to be. It's yet to it's be. It's just an idea. It? Yes, it's an idea, yes. So okay. how do you know it'll be possible? How do you know people will be okay, able yes, to take their measurements? Once again, the judges struggle with contestants who pitch ideas without a prototype. Will this error make or break Mary's chances? Several times I've had to send videos to my clients through WhatsApp, okay, for them to take their measurements. Okay, this is how, because sometimes they go to their um, tailors close by and those on mess up measurements and all that. So I send the video, okay, this is how to take the measurement for this particular style. So I can't do that for every single client. And it works, I mean, you make those yes, outfits it works, and they... It works, it works, perfectly works. works. Yes, exactly. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good Thank luck. you. Thank Good you. Luck. Thank you. All right. It went well. It went well. I was actually a bit tense, but seeing the judges' faces and all that, I think they actually made me more relaxed, and uh, I think it was fun. You're never gonna keep me down. You're never gonna keep me down. No, 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 no. Pitch Nigeria, brought to you by Sterling. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Good All right, afternoon. So you have three minutes to make your presentation. Good luck. Our final contestant today is Bio Ojelabi, the founder of Medivice Technologies, whose business was founded after a personal experience. Do you know that in Nigeria today, we have no less than 25 million people living with disabilities? But the good news is just last week, disability bill was passed. People ask, why am I in this business? In year 2007, I sustained injury on my right knee, and I was in the hospital for about two years. So during this period, I met people with health-related issues, disabilities, and many of them, they don't even have money to afford this service. Um, some of them were told that they have to go abroad for prosthetic fitting. That's when I took interest, and that's why I'm here today. We are a team of four. We design biomechanical devices that enable people with disability to live a better life. We have solutions for low back pain. We have two options. For a severe low back pain, we use this. For a moderate low back pain, we use this. Uh, that shows that about 81% of us, we at one point or the other, have issues with low back pain because of the way we walk, with the way we live in the 21st century. I do. 
<laughs> November, December to January, we made six million naira as a revenue. Our profit margin is 40% to 45%. So we are seeking 10 million support. This will enable us to purchase equipment and raw material in bulk so it can hasten our process. And then we reach out to many hospitals. Thank you. It appears Bio has a money-making machine on his hands. So you started this in November 2018? Did you I had a full operation yeah, yeah, yeah. in November, yes. And you, you, your sales period was between November and January? December, January, yes. And Are you, you made sold? six million? Yes. Is that your projection of what you sold already? That's what I made as a revenue. From November last year till now? True, yes. Who did you sell, um, sell to? <laughs> Clients. I worked in collaboration with hospitals. Okay. What exactly did you sell these things? Um, which of the products did you sell? Every state. All the products. I sell and you this. manufacture this here? Uh, I manufacture from here upward. Here I import it. Can, can you bring yeah, them? Come. He comes prepared, handing out his Nigerian made products. Good luck in the competition. Thank you. Nigeria, brought to you by Sterling. That's it for today on The Pitch Nigeria. They've come, they've pitched, but will they conquer? The journey continues to the grand finale, where we find out what businesses and which CEOs make it to the top five and eventually take the top three spots, winning 10 million, 5 million, and 1 million naira respectively. I'm your host, Illy. Until next time, this is The Pitch Nigeria, brought to you by Sterling.